Okay, we're going to show you how to wind uh, one of these coils up now because it's a pretty important part of it considering there's 36 coils in one of these motors. So here, down there by those orange cones, I put a stick in the ground and I got, that's 96 feet from there back to here. Okay. So there's a 96 foot length of 22 gauge that stretches that far. Now, right here I put a stick in the ground. Right there, a little chop stick. And it has two wires to it. One, two. That's 43 feet from here to that uh, that dish thing down there. Okay, so I got two lengths of 43 feet coming here and one length of 96 that goes full length. Okay, see that? So I've laid it all out ready to go. You see that work? Okay, these are for the coils on the frame ends, these outside stator coils. The central coils have three wires of 86 feet, they're all the same length, but these are different. They have one wire that's longer than the other two. Okay, just go over here, cut these. And I got three wires to start winding onto this thing with. Okay, so now I've started it. I have about three inches worth of uh, wire that I've wrapped around back here. Okay, so then I loop it over that washer. Okay, here's one layer of right hand rule coil winds full length. See that? So three wires all together. Okay, now I from that full length I wound from the from here coming back this way and I stopped about a quarter inch from the end here. Okay, there's a reason for this. So I want to make kind of a cone shaped coil here. About a third of the way done, see it's still it's making that cone shape. I'm really getting to the end. See the shape of the coil here? And it's wound, I have these two wires wound up to this chopstick I stuck in the ground. I'm so, when you get to this stage, you leave maybe five inches of wire here. I handily put some tape on my hand. There's a reason for this. This wire is going to fold it over. See that? I've covered all two wires, I'm sorry. These two wires that come out are going to come down here like this, go like that, and come out here in the bottom. See that? And I'm going to be winding that long length of wire over all these. That's why I'm doing this. So I don't want it to chafe and, and ruin the varnish when I put the next layer. I have another piece of tape. This is where you better get this covered because you don't want it to unwind on you. So I put this right up to the edge of that washer all the way around, real tight. Okay, now it's kind of pretty well held in place now. You can relax now.